And a wildfire continues to burn in Nevada County right now, forcing hundreds of people to evacuate and leave their homes. The Rice's fire has burned more than 700 acres right now. It's near French Corral in Nevada County. So here's the very latest. As we take these live pictures from Live Copter 3, you can see it's really just kind of smoldering. Even though containment is at 0%, meaning they don't have a line around this at all, it's not a lot of active fire, just a lot of smoldering. You can see all of those red lines where they dropped retardant on the fire to try and create some containment. You can see a lot of smoke billowing up from the fire right now. We do know that since yesterday when this fire started in the afternoon, one firefighter has been injured. We know that uh, several homes have burned and have been destroyed. We saw a couple of them happen live here on KCRA 3 yesterday. In the meantime, though, the evacuation orders for some people in the zones in Nevada County, certain zones are still evacuated. They're being told they need to leave. But in terms of comparing it to right now to what we saw yesterday, this aerial attack that they're doing really paying off. If we want to go ahead and zoom in, uh, I could see it looks like a helicopter there. They have been consistently dropping water on the flames. That's why we're seeing more and more of this white smoke. And we are also seeing them continue to drop some retarded. This is a, a chopper that we, we've watched for the last hour or so, and it's been a uh, pretty busy siphoning up the water from nearby um, waterways and there's a nearby lake as well and then it just kind of drops it out of that hose that you see at the bottom and they can get pretty specific in where they target if they see little hot spots popping up or, or maybe something uh, reflaring up uh, then they can just go to that specific spot drop water on it and that's where we're seeing a lot of that white smoke coming off of what's left of this fire but again so far this fire the rice's fire has burned approximately 769 acres. As we widen now, we can kind of show you the terrain that these firefighters have been dealing with as they've been fighting this fire for almost 24 hours now. We've got a team coverage for you, and we begin with KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri. She is on the ground and still very smoky there, right, Lizay? Yeah, where we are right now, Lisa, we're off a uh, truce trail not far from Pleasant Valley Road, and you're facing east toward the center of Birchville. We're here because this is where we've been seeing all the helicopters. They're not here now. They're uh, making their trips west, but this is the area where they've been picking up the water, filling up, and then traveling west along the ridge line towards the Yuba River uh, to go make those water dumps um, handle this uh, attack from the air. I saw as many as three helicopters filling up on water over here just a little bit ago. Uh, like you said, the last update from this morning had this fire at 769 acres, so it grew a couple hundred acres overnight. Uh, Cal Fire estimating four structures destroyed, more than 500 threatened. Today, we know that there are more resources on the fire, so that's good news. About 80 fire engines out here, more than a dozen water tenders and hand crews. The bulldozers are out, and as you mentioned the challenge here is the terrain. This is uh, one of the steepest and largest river drainages uh, that they have in the region, according to the Cal Fire unit chief. You're looking at video from yesterday. This started at about 2 p.m. Uh, the cause is still under investigation, but it was initially reported as a structure fire started in the area of Rice's Crossing Road north of the South Fork of the Yuba River, just southwest of North San Juan in Nevada County. Uh, big efforts here today is to try to keep it from keep the fire from crossing Yuba County right now it's uh, contained in this area. Well, it's not contained yet. I don't want to say that it's 0% uh, contained, but so far the fire has been burning uh, within the limits of Nevada County and firefighters, fire crews out here are hoping to keep it that way. You can see this helicopter uh, just filled up on water and is uh, now headed west to where the uh, fire activity is happening so far this evening. Uh, you can kind of see some of the smoke and hazy sky in the distance again mostly focused on that ridge line near Yuba River. We'll be following the progress of this fire and of course the efforts uh, to get this under control throughout the day reporting live here near Birchville in Nevada County. Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. And, and Lizay, I don't know if you can hear me with all the chopper activity in the background, but did, were you able to as you were coming into this area, did you happen to come across anyone who did evacuate or are you seeing people that maybe stay behind or does it look pretty pretty evacuated? 
Uh, well, so we drove up. We didn't dr drive through the area that had already uh, been burned through. We drove up uh, Highway 49 and then came down Pleasant Valley Road. So I did see there's a, a little um, market or something just before we started getting to Truce Trail. And we did see I saw a motorcyclist driving by, but not many people um, that, that we could see at least outside uh, in the uh, area where people should be be evacuated right now. Yeah, well, that's definitely good news. And then that just gives more space and, and less chaos for the people who are fighting the fire. And you see all those power poles behind Lizzie. I think she mentioned they de-energize those. So we just want to point that out. They de-energized them yesterday just for the safety of the firefighters. Lizzie Mitri, thank you for the live report from Nevada County. And she mentioned the evacuation orders that still remain in place for certain zones in Nevada County. And I want to show you the evacuation map right here. And you can see the areas in red, the areas in red, those are evacuated evacuation orders. That's for Birchville, Sweetland, French Corral, Bridgeport, Rice's Crossing, and the Buttermilk area. So those are the areas that you're seeing right here in red. Now, all the areas in yellow, that's an evacuation warning, and those are in places for those zones that you see over there, and that actually crosses over to the Yuba County area. Yesterday was just an advisory for Yuba County. Today, it's still a warning. So, you know, things could change with the winds, and they just want to make sure that people are ready to go if they need to go. That's what the warning means. So that not only includes all these areas that we're, you're seeing here in Nevada County, but also the two areas there over in Yuba County. So just keep that in mind. There are also some shelters in place. The Nevada County Office of Emergency Service, Services opened a temporary evacuation point at the Madeline Helling Library and 980 Helling, Helling Way in Nevada City. The Nevada County Fairgrounds is open to receive animals if you've been displaced by the fire. Let's go back out to live cop three if we still have pictures from live copter three right now so we can see uh, where firefighters are targeting the, kind of the smoldering areas and they're really just going after hot spots right now and you can see a lot of smoldering going on here very different than what it looked like 24 hours ago a lot of red on the ground that's where they laid down the retardant good to see that the fire isn't getting up in the trees like it was yesterday but again as Lizay mentioned this is a very steep terrain uh, especially where we, we saw it start to grow yesterday. Really, really steep terrain. So it's firefighters really just trying to fight this thing from the air. There were crews on the ground uh, yesterday. And I'm sure there's still crews out there on the ground today. But you know, you can see the terrain that they're dealing with in all of that gear in the heat. There's another helicopter coming in right now, either getting ready to siphon up more water or getting ready to make another drop of water with that bucket that can carry thousands of gallons in that little bucket. It doesn't look like much. There they go, dropping that water. They probably saw some sort of a, a little flare up there or some area of concern. They just want to make sure that, that is all nice and damp. Doesn't look like we have much of a wind in this area today. You can tell because that water is just going straight down. Let's turn over to meteorologist Dirk Verdorn for a look at the conditions that they're seeing as Dirk continues our team coverage. Dirk? Yeah, you can see that. I mean, the smoke's just kind of hanging in the air. It's not really getting pushed around a whole lot. So we had the downslope winds overnight last night. They were actually stronger early this morning than what we're seeing right now, but we're seeing a shift in the wind. So we go from that more north or easterly to northeasterly wind to more of a southwesterly wind. So here's where the fire's taking place. Again, you have it in through Nevada County, just on the border with Yuba County. And the smoke that we had this morning that had just kind of settled into the, uh, the canyon there, it's kind of dissipating some as it lifts. So you're getting the smoke lifting and they're not, it's not producing as much smoke either. And I think there's two big reasons why. First of all, the firefighters, the Cal Fire, were able to jump all over this really quick. You could see all the retardant that they laid down throughout the area. So that's really helped uh, tremendously. Another thing is the weather has helped out. Again, temperatures are starting to cool and we're seeing a change in the winds, again, that are fairly light. We're looking at winds that are not nearly as strong as they were yesterday, at least at this point. So current conditions right now, temperature in the area about 84 degrees, humidity is at about 20%. So it's dry, but it's not as dry as it could be. Winds from the southwest West. So we have had a shift in the winds. It's just not very strong. Only three miles per hour with gusts up to nine miles per hour. These winds were actually stronger this morning. But as we progress through the afternoon, we will see a stronger southerly wind start to pick up. Now the area of concern here, and these are the spots where they're trying to keep the fire within these bounds. To the south is Rice's Crossing Road. 
to uh, the uh, west, it's the Yuba River. Don't want it to jump over the river. That's not good. And then Pleasant Valley Road to the east and to the north is Sweetland Creek. So you kind of get an idea of the area that they're trying to keep this fire within, contained within, and especially they do not want it to jump over the Yuba River. So right now it's looking pretty good until we get later in the day when those winds could pick up, Lisa.